Have you been trying to grow a YouTube channel and realize you're not getting the subscribers and the views and and all the engagement that you thought you were going to get? Are you not really sure like what to record or you know what order things should be in? Like do you just press record and kind of just cross your fingers and hope that you end up with a great video? Well, so did I. And then I realized that I needed to start scripting my videos. So I decided to create a challenge for myself and basically audit my own YouTube channel and come up with a plan for myself on overhauling my entire channel and monetizing, becoming successful. I'm gonna put the first video of the challenge up here and you can, you can watch my journey. But this video, I wanted to go over scripting my videos. This is one of the big gaps that I noticed is I just would just record and not really have points written down. I wouldn't have a beginning. I wouldn't have a middle. I wouldn't have an end. And then I spent so much time in editing and I was like, enough, I'm going to start scripting my videos. So let's go in to why I think scripting videos is going to be better for my overall engagement, gaining subscribers, getting, you know, the watch hours, being able to monetize all of those reasons, right? Number one reason is I think it focuses the video. If I don't know what I'm talking about before I click record, I end up going all over the place. So having what my main points are here on a piece of paper that I can refer to is going to keep me more focused on what the video is about. The other thing about having all of this here is, is I won't miss anything. I will have my main points listed out. I won't spend an entire 30, 40 minutes recording a video and then spend all the time editing it and, and you know, I've, I've already changed my clothes, taken my bra off and realize, oh my God, I missed that one main point <laughs> that I wanted to make. So I wouldn't have to go and get it all back on to be able to put that one point in there or do text on the screen, which I don't know. The other thing I think about scripting the videos is I think I have a better chance of knowing that my keywords are being covered in the description, in my spoken word, in the title of my video. I think I'm gonna have a better chance of hitting all the keywords that I'm wanting to hit with my content. I would make sure that my outline is fleshed out enough that it has the keywords that I'm speaking them in addition to, like I said, in the title, in the description, all of that stuff. The next thing I wrote on here is I think it'll make me more efficient and have less takes. I recorded this video yesterday about scripting before I even scripted the video and I, it was all just junk. It was junk. I was like laughing at myself because I was like, you're literally recording a video about scripting your videos, but you didn't script this video. <laughs> Hmm. Because, well, I mean, the original intent of that video was, you know, come along my journey with me as I make my spreadsheet, you know, in, in the Google Sheets. And it just wasn't working out. It wasn't working out. I needed to do the scripting first before I could record the video. It's going to help me be more efficient. I'm not going to have to keep re-recording things. I, I, I shouldn't have to do as many takes because... I've noticed that the videos where I've done, you know, a little jotting down of things is my thoughts flow more freely. So I don't have to edit so many, so many takes because I'm not, I'm not messing up as much. And the last thing that I think is really important for scripting is to make sure that there's a point in the video that you're talking about that doesn't belong in a different video or that couldn't spin off another video with, with more points, right? So if I was talking about scripting, but then in, in my outline of my videos, I see something in here like, you know, I don't know, downloading uh, the captions and, and uploading them and making sure that they're correct. I mean, that wouldn't make sense in this video. So I would want to completely take that out and put it in its own video or put that point in a video where that content just makes more sense. So now that I've covered why I think scripting will help with my videos, I want to talk a little bit about scripting videos as a beginner. In the beginning, when I was making content for YouTube, I just got overwhelmed just so easily because I've been consuming all of this content from all these other creators and they're saying you need X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. Like I'm like literally like before I even press record or before I even upload a video, I had to think about 15 or 16 different things and I was just getting so overloaded, so overwhelmed. So my advice to you if you're a new YouTube creator is you can start scripting your videos but keep it very, very simple. You don't need to have all the bells and whistles. You don't need to have the B-roll. You don't need to have all the stuff flying in the screen. You don't need to be doing advanced editing techniques unless 
you know how to do that already. Like, don't put all that pressure on you. As a new YouTube creator, you just need to post. <laughs> you just need to get into the rhythm of posting, of, you know, recording and editing and posting and just getting into the rhythm and the consistency of getting it up there. And then you can add on other things as you go along. So I have that on here, KISS. Keep it simple, stupid in the beginning because you just have to get used to posting. So that's why I just decided to make my spreadsheet, my little spreadsheet here very, very simple. That's it. I wanted to keep this video just very simple and just easy. And just, so that I hope this video helps. If you want to continue watching my journey as I'm revamping my entire YouTube channel, you can click the subscribe button and watch that journey. And if you're interested, I did just upload another video where I was auditing Sean Wilson's YouTube account. She has 8,000 subscribers and she's not monetized yet. So I ended up doing an audit on her account. I posted that video. I was using the audit to help myself learn about why somebody has so many subscribers but isn't monetized and then also give her feedback so that she could monetize her account. If you're interested in that video, that's going to be posted right here so you can go and check that out next.